something happened. Something just happened that I did not. <laughs> I did not expect. I went to school and I took these placement tests. And I don't, I don't know if I really had to take the whole thing. Like I, I took, I took everything that they had. I think I took like, I think I was, I really only had to take math. But I was like, eh, I'll take the reading one too. Um, math. Uh, math was kind of um, sort of what I expected, but also a little bit disappointing. Like if I had had another couple of weeks, I think I could have done better. I at least could have placed into college for calculus, but I didn't. I, I placed into college algebra for STEM, which was kind of I was like, oh no, because like I saw like when I saw. Like there was stuff that I knew that I wasn't gonna know. Just stuff that I didn't remember. Stuff that I took when I was in high school, like years and years ago, right? 20, 20 years ago. Um, like cosines, tangents, stuff like that. You know, but if there's semester of school, right? If you, like, if, you, if you're like right on the cusp of something and you don't remember how to do it. So that was kind of tough. I don't know. I mean, I, uh, I don't I don't really mind. If I have to make algebra again, I will. But I kind of wish I didn't have to do that. But the thing that really did surprise me, really surprised me, <laughs> I, placed into, I placed into their level one college writing. So they have two, like these are prerequisites, even just people would like try to do the program that I want to do. You have to take, you have to like, you have to be able to, you have to have done, I think, college writing two to get into their first, their intro to chemistry, which is just, <laughs> and I'm wondering, I'm wondering, I'm wondering how that happened though, that's the thing, I, you know, taking the test, I didn't feel like I didn't understand anything, you know, and I didn't, and as far as the sentence structure was concerned, I felt like I understood it grammatically and that kind of thing, I mean, there were a couple of answers there were a couple of questions where I felt like it was, um, sometimes you can, you can get this on like some tests where there are two answers and both of them are, are pretty good out of like four or five questions or whatever, out of four or five answers. Um, but you know, the one, that, the one that you think is the right one might not be the one that they wanted. It's a little, it can be a little bit more subjective unlike math. Um, so at the same time, it's like college writing one. Really? You know, I mean, I, I did, I did take four advanced, four advanced placement tests when I was in high school. I took, and English was one of them. You know, and I got, I did, I got fives in all of them. And you, you hack everything, right? The people, some of the people who are listening to this are people who, who routinely hack all of my information. I would have to spend twenty-five dollars to get those scores sent anywhere, um, and it was going to take two weeks. So I should have done it a long time ago if I was going to do it. Um, but yeah, I mean they are, and I did, I did, I got all fives and all of them, I got perfect scores and all of them. Again, you know, it was, it was 25 years ago, but it, seriously, it's not, it's not like I... It's, <laughs> it's not like, it's not like it was, uh... It's not like I haven't been doing any writing since then, you know what I mean? <laughs> no reading, no writing ever since then, no, I pretty much, I just totally, you know, just, just, you know, didn't, didn't even bother with any of it after, after high school, whatever. Then that's, that's just not how it is, you know? And then when I went to college, I, you know, I did other types of classes, and I have a associate's degree already from a community college, you know? <laughs> and took classes, and took like other types of classes, you know, in the college that I went to before, and it's just, I mean, uh, college writing, one. 
so I saw it and I, I, was, like, I was like, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see if, that's, if that's their final answer, but I don't know, you know. And so it's a couple things, a few things I was thinking of. One was like, what my first, my honestly, my first thought was, oh no, they're gonna, they're gonna just, <laughs> there is no joke that the people who, people who get irritated with me for saying that I'm a good writer are not gonna make about my placing into like first semester, first semester college writing. There is, there is nothing that they're not gonna say about that. So, that, <laughs> yes, I was unhappy about that. Um, and then also the question of how much longer it's gonna take. Oh, 351-0492, do you guys, do you send out other types of trucks or not? Um, and then there's the question of how much, long, how much longer it's gonna take. You know, at first you have to take college writing one, then you have to take college writing two, and then you can take um, intro to chemistry. But I already, I've already taken chemistry twice. I've already taken intro to chemistry twice. You know, I took it in, in high school um, and passed. I got a B, I think. And I, I, know, I know I passed. I think it's either a B or a B, B plus. And I, took, I took it in college, and that was harder. You know, but I still got I still got a pass. Right? I got like a C, like a C or C minus, something like that. Which I know they wouldn't take, but that's okay because I wasn't planning. I was I was fine with taking chemistry again. Because it was, it was, it's just the, the subject that was always the most difficult for me. But still, I mean, the idea that I can't even, I won't even be able to take it for another two semesters is like, ugh, seriously? I can't. <laughs> so I don't know. So, the, so there was, there was this sort of some, some unhappiness. So I thought I was like, oh, that's not good, you know. Um, and then the question of like the extra cost. Because I'm going to, and I haven't heard anything from the financial aid office. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go at all to the school. You know, if I can't get just total financial aid for it, I don't think I'll be able to go. I won't be able to, you know. And then there was just sort of another question, which I, I'm not going to like, I'm not going to like lean on this question too much. But it's interesting because, you know, I always was really, really, really good in school. Um, and I just never, it never occurred to me. It never occurred to me that there was that there might ever be anything about it, like testing or scoring of tests and quizzes and that kind of thing that was that was unfair at all. That was subjective, that was biased, that was done in a way that was like, you know, I always it's so funny because I just I just it's interesting how easy it is to assume that everything everything about the system that you're dealing with is right as long as you're succeeding in that system. So I'm, so I, you know, <laughs> you know, a standardized test, these, this is like a standardized test, basically, you know, that I just took, I just spent like three or four, how many hours, four or five hours on it, something like that, just, you know, try, trying to get through every single question, to get every single question really seriously, like really trying, really trying to do well on it, right? Um, and did not do as well as I had hoped. And it's interesting because, I mean, it's just kind of, it's just kind of strange because, you know, <laughs> I've already taken biology, I've already taken chemistry, I've already taken calculus. Um, yeah, it was a long time ago, but it's, I mean, it literally probably won't take me about two weeks of study, studying my, you know, just by myself um, with websites online for me to, to, like, remember what all those concepts are. Just this, like, the, I don't know, five or ten questions that I just didn't remember how to do them and everything else I was already, really, for the most part, you know? But then it's, a, it's, just, it's just interesting because there's just kind of a question in my mind, like, how... You know, is it is it as fair as I always assumed that it was during all those years when I was like, you know, always getting A's and B's, you know, my lowest test scores usually be like, you know, high 80s, low 90s, like, yeah, my, my lowest test scores usually like high 80s, low 90s, that kind of thing. You know, was it, was it always as fair as I thought it was, or was it just because I was doing so well that I thought, that I thought it was, you know, there's probably nothing wrong with it. It's an interesting question.